Hey, what's happening, guys? Gonna take a look at something today, what I like to call the other white meat in the uh, transistor realm. Uh, it looks like a BJT, but it ain't, and it also ain't a MOSFET. Like I said, it is the other white meat. It is a JFET, a junction field effect transistor. Uh, behaves on the same principle. I can't get it to flip over. <laughs> behaves on the same principle as a MOSFET, the, uh, an electric field is used to activate it because there's no direct connection. Uh, if you look here at the packaging, it's going to tell you a static sensitive device, and they are very static sensitive. So you want to be careful with them. The ones we're going to take a look at here today are uh, 2N5457s. These are N channel uh, JFETs, 10 milliamp in a TO92 package. So Let's uh, just talk just for real briefly here about the layout of. I can't draw squares. I meant to draw that as a perfect square, but you know, a BJT, a bipolar junction transistor. In this case, it'll be an NPN. So we have our two ends on the end, P in the middle. That's our collector. That's our emitter, and that's our base. A small current into the base allows a larger current to flow from collector to emitter. That's the BJT principle. Now, let's see if I can draw a halfway decent JFET. This is not out of my mind, by the way. I had to copy this out of a book to get the uh, to kind of get it to look correctly. So all this material here is N-channel. This is our drain. This is our source. And then right here, think of this in 3D. Think of it like a cylinder. So this P-channel wraps all the way around the N-channel. That's our gate. That's a G. Looks like a sideways heart, but it's actually a G. So because it is like a MOSFET, because it is a FET, a field effect transistor, I may have said transform in there a couple times. That happens. But I'm talking about transistors. Because it is a field effect transistor, once you apply a voltage to the gate, the current runs from drain to source. If you remove the voltage, it's still going to run. You have to place a negative voltage onto the gate in order to stop it. That's one of the advantages of the JFET over a, a BJT. Now, the gate channel resistance in these guys is ridiculously high. We're talking... Um, many hundreds of mega ohms. It's not as high as a MOSFET. A MOSFET has almost infinite gate resistance. But still here, very, 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 very little um, current is required to activate a JFET. So we can consider it to be a voltage controlled device. Now they can be damaged or destroyed by current, voltage, and heat as well. Now JFETs are primarily used in um, audio applications for switching capabilities. And if we take a look here at the data sheet for these 5457s, you'll see they're designed for audio and switching applications. They're end channel, so they have a high gain. Now these ones are interesting. The, the drain and source are interchangeable. I've never really dealt with that, so that's not something I can go into. They have a high input resistance on AC, I mean, high input impedance and a high input resistance on DC. The rest is blah, blah, blah. So we're looking at 25 volts in any direction on here with a gate current of about 10 milliamps DC. So you can see there is going to be some flow there. Let's take a look at a little circuit that I put together. It's a circuit that I, I put together. It's really simple. There's our 2N5457. This is the source on the leftmost pin. Um, 
I'm sorry, the drain, the source is on the middle pin, pin two, and the gate is over here. So we're gonna come from VCC into the drain, out of the source, through this 1K resistor to our LED. Okay, so I have our power supply set up for five volts, and we will hook it up thusly. Now watch the LED when I hook this up. Nothing attached to the gate. Do we get anything at all? No. But, see that? Now that's not a microphonic. It's, that's not happening because I'm tapping it. It's happening simply because I'm getting close to it. That's just the sensitivity factor. So I got a wire here, this is about four inches long. And we'll plug it into the gate channel. And then we can put that and we turn it on. Now if I pull the wire out here, it went down a little bit, but you can see that the channel remains open. Now, let's see if we can get it to act like an antenna. There we go. See how that works? That's just that field sensitivity. So, let's do another little uh, test here. Got a uh, meter. We'll bring in the meter here. And what I'm just going to do, so I'm going to move our LED over here like this. Meter set up for milliamps. And we'll put the positive lead there and the negative lead over here on the anode. If I can get my fingers to work. There we go. Okay. So you can see there we're getting 5.6 milliamps Going up to uh, 8 milliamps, where's my wire? Let me, uh, let me move this around a little bit here, hold on a second. Just trying to eliminate any crosstalk there. Okay. So if we plug in here, no, I've got no connection, that's the problem. I'm knocking, oh, I'm knocking wires out. Paul, oh, you big dummy. Okay. So there we go. We're putting two milliamps in there. And then if we pull this out, oops. Now you can see we've lost our field completely. And if we go to the negative, just as we would want, just as we would expect. But now look at that. Because I'm touching that with my finger, we ended up getting a charge to it. So let's take a look at this from another perspective. The data sheet said drain and source were interchangeable. All right, let's interchange them. So we'll move our resistor and our LED over to the drain. We'll move our VCC here over to the source. And do we get anything? No, not really. We'll plug into the gate here. And okay, so we've got a reverse flow that way, and we still have our field effect going there. And if we ground it, yeah. So that's this particular JFET, the 2N5457, is uh, completely reversible. That's the I've never dealt with a completely reversible one before, so that's pretty cool. 
anyway, these are generally used in lower voltage applications. So in a first stage amp, looks like a plane in coal or something. So for a first stage amplifier circuit, something like that in a preamp, these will work out real well. Just remember um, the differences between the uh, JFET and the BJT, and also just a, a small difference between the JFET and the MOSFET being the little bit of uh, input gate current. Let's, uh, I tell you, before I go, let's, let's hook this back up here. And what we'll do, we'll grab our wire. And another wire. Let's see, do we get anything if we bring these just close? Yeah, I've got to actually touch them. That that's not part of the <laughs> not part of the show. I was just me thinking out loud. Let's see what our, our gate current is on this. Should be less than 10 milliamps for sure. Come on, get on there. No milliamp. Yeah, that's not even registering microamps, so super, super low gate current going on there. Very cool. Almost behaving like a MOSFET. Anyway, that's really all I've got to talk about for this today. Uh, before I go, I want to thank Darren for his generous donation to the channel. Good on you, mate, as they say down south. Or not really down south, way down south on the other side of the world. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to all the patrons out there, especially the new guys, the three of you that just signed up. Thank you very much. That's it. I'm out. And I wish you all peace.